As we continue on with our knitwear roundup, I thought it important to talk about the brand that I first invested in. A brand that, for many of us, is our first investment into something like knitwear. A brand synonymous with great price and good quality clothing, at least for the mainstream. That brand is, of course, Japanese giant Uniqlo. Hello, I'm Sam from Jessup Says. The focus of my channel is to share and educate on how to buy less, buy better. On how we can make smarter and more informed decisions before we purchase to ensure that what we purchase is both fit for purchase and made to last. Uniqlo represent an unusual space when considering the philosophy of buy less, buy better in its truest form. It does inarguably offer better product and better value than its rivals and peers. If you were to directly compare Uniqlo to other mall style fast fashion brands, Uniqlo seem to be in a different competition in one key way. They advertise natural fabrics. Things like linen, cotton and merino wool are part of their overall value proposition. Combined with their extremely modern and minimalistic designs, it's a product that many of us enjoy. But they are also regularly in the media for their less than ideal ethical manufacturing standards. They've been called out for not just their use of slave labor in China, but their less than ideal factory environments in places like Indonesia. Which seems sort of counterintuitive to a company that openly state that their whole mission is to, and I quote, change clothes, changing conventional wisdom and change the world. I'm sure they're aware of the situation and I can only hope that they improve their manufacturing standards in future so that they will truly become a brand that represents buy less, buy better. For me, these manufacturing and ethical concerns are a big reason why I don't buy Uniqlo anymore. But it's a decision that you will need to make for yourself. They have an undeniably strong value proposition and great products, honestly. They're also a great place to start making conscious purchasing decisions. They are not perfect, but their products are more carefully designed and are likely to last more than a single season. To prove it, what I'm wearing right now, my extra fine merino knit, is at this stage my oldest piece of knitwear, around five years old. Sure, it's starting to look five years old, and it may not be in the rotation as often as it once was, but it has lasted those five years without a single issue, with very frequent use and very frequent washing, if I'm being honest. So let's get into what makes this a good option for you to begin your buy less, buy better journey. This knit is made from an internationally recognized 19.5 micron merino wool. Uniqlo don't say where the merino is sourced from or where it's knitted into yarn. With Australia being the largest exporter of merino wool, it may be an assumption that it's made from merino wool. Though my view is that if it was made from merino wool, they probably would have published that as a feature on the website. In fact, China is currently the world's second largest producer of wool, contributing approximately 18% of global production. So let's assume that the wool is sourced from China. One of the more unique features of Uniqlo Merino is the ability to wash it indiscriminately. Wool is typically quite a risky fabric to wash and a fabric that you may not even want to wash in the first place. In my video on the Tom Morrison mock neck, we discussed how merino wool is naturally antimicrobial and therefore unlikely to need washing. Uniqlo also say that they use what's called press processing to prevent pilling. I'm unsure 
how long this is meant to last. But after five years of regular use, I have really only experienced some mild pilling. You can see it sort of across the shoulders and across the top. Not where I'd expect it, in sort of high rub areas, like under the armpits and under the, and the elbows, though there is definitely some pilling there. And, you know, it's starting to wear through or get thin in some areas, like on my elbows, which is not surprising after five years of regular wear. As with all the other knits we've covered so far, this merino features ribbing around the collar, the wrists, and the hem. The knit is also made in China, which as we've covered before, and I'm sure we will continue to cover, is not necessarily a bad thing. Though in light of my earlier comments, it's certainly a lot less than ideal. To combat this inherent negativity associated with the idea of made in China, Uniqlo have done a lot to change their brand's perception. For example, in 2004, Uniqlo launched what they call their Global Quality Declaration, which is basically a pledge to stop making low-priced, low-quality garments. Since then, the brand perception has changed significantly from being a cheap, low-quality garment to what we consider now as an affordable but high-quality garment. For a five-year-old knit that only cost me $49.90 in Australian dollars, it's really hard to dispute that Uniqlo are a great introduction to buy less, buy better clothing. Honestly, I've really enjoyed wearing the knit. It served me faithfully. So what defines high quality? As I'm not a knitter or experienced in textiles in any real tangible way, I thought it best to do a comparison I chose my Brooks Brothers Brooks Tech Merino, which I've had for about a similar amount of time, around three years. The Brooks Tech Merino is actually incredibly similar to the Uniqlo Merino wool. It's made from 100% Merino wool. It's touted as being wrinkle resistant and machine washable. And it's also made in China. Interestingly though, it retails for around $150, but does regularly go on sale for $49.90 like the Uniqlo, so they are incredibly comparable. Now when holding the two merinos next to each other, the biggest difference that you'll notice is actually the merino wool and the quality of the merino wool that they've used. The Brooks Brothers Brooks Tech uses Italian two-ply merino wool. It's a lot softer, maybe slightly finer, and it feels thicker. By thickness, I mean it's an incredibly minute difference in terms of the actual density of the garment, and probably more easy to imagine in terms of the transparency of the garment. The thickness actually makes it feel much more luxurious, so I consider that to be a bonus. I believe this difference comes from it being two-ply, as the Uniqlo doesn't actually specify, so I'm assuming it's single-ply. A key impact of this is that the Brooks Tech is also in a lot better condition than my Uniqlo. There are no wearing issues, there is no thinness anywhere, and there's certainly no pilling on the garment. So you're missing out on the fabric and its softness and maybe how long the garment actually lasts you. But five years is nothing to sniff at. I'm not alone in this experience either of the knitwear from Uniqlo gradually wearing out over time. And I guess that's what all garments will do with enough wear. But it's not the only reason I've chosen to investigate other brands. Probably the biggest reason is sustainability and ethical considerations. The buy better element of buy less, buy better is often the hardest to overcome. Some brands aren't open and honest about how they're producing their goods, where they're producing their goods, which makes it very difficult to verify that you're investing in a piece of clothing that is truly better. 
I'm making a conscious effort to purchase products that are not only made in places that I know have a higher standard of ethical production and maybe you know a minimum wage or a living wage but also in ways that are more sustainable for example the whole garment production that companies like Bossy and Tom Morrison use minimize waste in the creation of the garment the Uniqlo knit is unlikely to be made in an ethical factory or out of ethically made fabrics something that I personally cannot accept as a trade-off in the attempt to buy a higher quality garment. In saying all of this, I've spent the last five years wearing this knit in a variety of ways. And over that time, I've truly enjoyed wearing it. It's comfortable, it's not too warm, and it pairs with pretty much everything I own. Uniqlo make a fantastic product. Maybe it's not the highest quality fabric or made in the most sustainable or ethical way but if you're looking at how to get into buy less buy better as a lifestyle and don't know where to start Uniqlo is a great place to do so anyway hope you enjoyed that look forward to the next one cheers